Yeah. All right. Excellent. So now, tell us, Mahmood. A guy living in Pakistan has all these vinyl albums of some of the greatest songs ever written. Take us to that day you got off the plane and landed in L.A. from Pakistan. Oh my God. You didn't run and get a taco or you know, <laughs> a taco meal or something like that. I didn't even know what a taco was. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> oh, well, um, well, you know, I I wasn't actually not in L.A. when I, when I came to the States. I was in North Carolina. And I ran into um, a promoter called Cecil Corbett, who ran a beach club promotions company in uh, South Carolina. Okay. And uh, this is a funny story. So I, s I met the 7-Eleven buying a drink, and a big <laughs> limo rolls up, and this guy with rings and, you know, like the whole works yes. comes in, and I'm like, damn. So I just walk up to him, I'm like, hey, what do you do? And he goes, oh, I'm a music promoter. I'm like, whoa, okay. Well, can I send you a song that I've written, maybe, or something like that? And and he goes, really, you write? And so I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. Sends, gives me his phone number. So I call him after a couple of weeks, and I quickly grab a tape player and, and record like a song that I yes. thought was great and sent him the tape. And I talked to Cecil after three weeks, and, and he goes, hey, I heard the tape. It's terrible. Um, but I have a feeling that you need to be in L.A. Mm -hmm. Um and I'm like, well, I, I can't do L.A., I'm, I'm, you know, just got here, you and, know. And from what I remember, I did you even know where L.A. was since not, you started not really, in Carolina? Not really, not really, you know, it's like, um, I'll tell you how how I found out, though. Yes. But, um, so he goes, I'm, I'm going to Tony Bennett's house in L.A. in two weeks. And the Tony Bennett? The Tony Bennett. All right. You could meet me there, and uh, we take things from there, and I'm like, hmm. But I didn't know who Tony Bennett was, either. So I'm like, oh, hmm. Just pack my bags, got in the car, and and uh, go go to the, to the store to get a map. And I'm looking at the map, and I'm going, where is LA? <laughs> and, and the guy goes, oh, you have to open it up. You know, so he opens the map, and it's like all the way. <laughs> I'm like, ah. On the other side of the map that you open up, yeah. You yeah. know, from from Charlotte. Could have been wallpaper for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that that's what brought me to. I just got in the car and, and drove and drove and drove. I remember driving for a long time, and I landed up um, under the Capitol Records building. Mm. You know, slept under that building in my car for about a few days. Um, but it's something you you, you told me um, the other day when we were having this conversation that I would like for you to share. You, when you first got to L.A. and you pulled in front of the Capitol building, what did you do? Kiss the ground? Well, you got out and stood in front of it and it's like, there it is! <laughs> oh, that. Yes, the that. celebration. The celebration. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, damn, I'm here. You're there. You know. And then you slept in the car for five days after that. For Yeah, for a good few days. And... Um, that's a dream coming true, ain't it? It really, it really was, and I, and I, to me, that was my first Everest, sort of, sort of, you know, my first peak that I mm. wanted to get to. Um, from there on, um, it was just about trying to find work in the studio and, and trying to find out what you want to do. Um, and then I ran into, you know, a studio in in Northridge, California. <laughs>
see you making through I see you breaking down the walls You will always have my love to hold you high Lost in the middle of raging fire Miracle you needed You will always have my love to hold you high You're gonna make it through You're gonna break down these walls And you will always have my love to hold you high Lost in the middle of a raging fire Miracle you need You will always have my love to hold you high